Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick video for you about uh, my new art supplies that I recently bought. Um, at the beginning of the year there is always a sale in my favorite online shop. And uh, yeah, so I only buy art supplies once a year. But before I show you the art supplies here in this box, um, we go over to my lumber room. There I have two boxes with large canvases that I bought. And uh, then we come back to my studio. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, so here we are in my in my lumber room. And uh, so these two boxes here are new with stretch canvases. This one is an old box. I have it already since uh, two years, about two years, I think. Um, here I have the largest stretch canvases. Um, let's see. 90 centimeters to 1 meter and 10. Okay, so they are all all right. And they are pre primed. So now let's open here these boxes. six of them. This one here, um, the size is 29 centimeters to 65 centimeters. It's uh, called a French landscape size. Also in white. And six of them. For the largest uh, yeah, stretch canvases, the size I painted on was um, always 50 to 60 centimeters. But now I, I think I have to yeah, paint on larger paintings. bit strange. No. This one is a bill. <laughs> okay. So um, the size here, also six pieces, um, the size is 60 to 80 centimeters. Studio 2, okay, this print, like a stärker. And they are pre primed, but I am sure one coat of gesso at least is not um, so wrong. But perhaps I coat them with, um, or cover them with um, acrylic binder. Preserve them. All right. So much to the canvases I still have. I'm back. And let us start with um, brushes. So this is a set of 30 brushes. Yes, 30 natural hair brushes, and the brand is Hoyle and Langnickel. So um, natural hair brushes. I'm going to use them for oil painting. They are for watercolor and tempera. But um, I'm going to use uh, for oil painting round brushes and uh, flat brushes too. So this one. Then um, here is paint, I think. Yes, by Rembrandt. Uh, titanium white oil paint by Rembrandt. So. But I also bought. Ah, yeah, yes, as, as I said in my 
new resolutions uh, video for 2023 that I wanna um, yes paint some oil paintings this year, not just mixed media paintings. That's why I need uh, new brushes, uh, titanium white, but also a flesh tone. This one here, um, also by Rembrandt. It's Naples yellow, Naples yellow red oil paint by Rembrandt. So. Okay, but also um, gels. I'm fond of using gels. Um, this one here is by Gamblin. I still have a bit of it. I also have a gel by um, Schminke. Still a whole tube, but I also want to test some other gels. Um, for instance, this one is a gel, a medium, medium von Eyck. For oil painting by um, Sennelier. It's a French brand. Sennelier, perhaps I don't pronounce it right. So this gel, medium von Eyck. And uh, this gel also the same brand, single gel, uh, medium turner transparent foil painting. So now I have the Scanlon gel, Schminke, then these two by Sennelier makes four gels. And also this one here. This one is by Vincent Newton um, liquid. It's also a gel, light gel. So you perhaps know this, there are many artists who um, use it, this liquid, and I also want to test it. So altogether I have five gels to test. The gamble I already know and I'm satisfied. Schminke, uh, I also, I already used Schminke. Long time ago, but uh, yes, I was also satisfied. But... Um, this gambling is um, a bit more, um, or let's say this by Schminke is a bit more liquid. Uh, yeah. and, uh, this one I don't like when it, it's too liquid. So my favorite right now is um, by Gamblin. Then comes Schminke. And then you will see this liquid uh, yes, has very good critics. So I'm uh, looking forward to it by Winston Newton, but also the other, other tools. So, this one here is linseed oil. A big bottle. So last year, last year I was uh, buying, or I bought um, pigments. Because I wanted to um, just make my own oil paints. I didn't have time for it. But um, yes, uh, to, this year I wanted to do this, and but um, I realized okay, I need more linseed oil for this. <laughs> I didn't have enough. Um, but yes, now I have enough, and um, I'm going to make my own oil paint. So this one, linseed oil by Schminke. Then Olaus Sinner by Bob Ross. And this was all for oil paintings. Then uh, some paints for my mixed media paintings. This one here is a light acrylic structure paste by Schminke. The surface is uh, smooth, so it doesn't contain any, any grains. So this one. And another one. This contains grains. It's uh, also by Schminke um, acrylic modeling paste, uh, coarse grained modeling paste, so the surface is not smooth, uh, it's a coarse surface. So this one, also in white, rice white, and then this one here is uh, acrylic paint in black by Gesterka. And uh, yes, a big bottle. I um, want to use it for um, recycle some paintings. And yes, yeah, let's see how good or bad this will be. So acrylic paint then this one here mm. these are a lot of uh, fragments of, of glass uh, glass fragments mosaics and I wanna uh, yes, um, do some mosaics this year 
these are just fragments, but I also have, um, yes, I already bought uh, mosaics, or pieces from mosaics years ago. Years ago. Um, that's little squares. Some are yes, uh, stones, really stones, but squares. Some are glass squares. So I have these fragments, a square, so a lot of uh, mosaics. And I also needed this one, a book, a book about doing mosaics. So I have few art books already. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. I have so many ideas, but you know, when you know my videos, when you watch my channel regularly or also follow me on Instagram, you know I don't have much time. This is always a problem with me, that I don't have much time. And this one, a smaller one and a big one. For my mixed media paintings, I'm sure. <clears throat> but yes, so this is all. Some things for my oil paintings. Mixed media, I won't give up. I love it. Mixed media is um, my favorite. Mixed media, favorite style and, and um, I don't know. The last year I was focusing much more on mixed media. Um, I also liked, I also like watercolor painting. Um, I started with watercolors actually. Then I uh, second painting style or approach was acrylic painting. Then I tried oil painting. Then mixed media came. In between a bit gouache, but um, yes, uh, the last two years I favored mixed media painting. And now I want to go back to oil painting a bit, but don't forget mixed media painting. So I'm looking forward, and you perhaps too, for new paintings this year. And yeah. When you don't want to miss a video, just uh, hit the subscribe button and don't forget the notification button too. So, and uh, yes, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.